Hey guys, welcome back to Florida TRD. I'm Clay. I'm John. And we're here to talk to you about the differences between the port install and daytime running lights. All right, so as you can see, Clay has the factory daytime running light, which is all it is is a high resistance on the high beam bulb. That's what Toyota and most manufacturers do for everything. But if you pick the port installed option for the two in one uh, fog lights, like I have here, they will install a switch in the uh, uh, driver's side part of the dash, DRL, when clicked on, it illuminates the halo. So you have an LED halo as your daytime running light and it doesn't illuminate the high beams. And you can also purchase an aftermarket for about 399 bucks is what we see it for. I'm playing with my options, trying to figure out what fog lights I want to go with and we'll, we'll see what I pick. Yeah, so that gives you an option to where if you already own it, you can go to, I believe it's auer.com is the name of the company. I don't want to try to pronounce it because I know I'm going to butcher it. I can barely say my name correctly. So if you go there or just search a Toyota 4Runner 2015 two-in-one LED fog light, it should populate right there. Um, I've liked this setup so far because it's different. Um, it's definitely visible going down the road, but I like it because it's different. You know, there's the, the, the TRD Pro 4Runner is exploding. Everyone and their brother wants one or has one. Um, especially in our area, I mean, for such a limited production vehicle, we see them driving around all the time. It's kind of weird. And then when I was up in West Virginia visiting family, I was on an interstate and was driving next to an Inferno one. I mean, how does how does that even happen when you're only supposed to be making 3,000 of them for the entire United States in a year? The odds of that are just pretty slim. So pretty also, crazy. also, I like to point out that aesthetically, if you get the HID headlights from Xenon Depot, they match that much better at night than the uh, than the more um, auburn colored yeah. Yeah, the, lights uh, of, the, of the fog lights on the stock. Yeah, when you go with HIDs, obviously you have option of Kelvin temperature. We both are running 4300. It's not really blue like this is. It's more of a white, like a pure white. But we do that because the 4300 produces the most visible light. And that's what you want your headlights for. Who gives a shit what color it is or what it looks like? It's about how it projects the light down the road and makes you more visible to other drivers and helps you see other drivers and deer and whatever debris might be on the road. So yeah, it definitely is a better match. So that's something to keep in mind. If you go HIDs for your low beams, your fog lights are gonna to need to be changed as well. But speaking from past experience, when I had a, um, a diesel Ram, I had, <laughs> I had HIDs in the low beams and in the fogs. And that thing was so intense going down the road every single car you drove by was flashing you and it gets kind of old after a while so then you just start swerving into them you know i still get flashed a lot <laughs> the other kind but then i also want to point out one last thing is that um my car is on his car is not you might notice because these won't come on without the car being started where his can be in the ignition mode and and, and be activated why well, that might not seem too too important but I don't know, I try to be an Instagram star and I don't like to be running my car while I'm trying to snap awesome selfies and get cool LED halos, you know? So just a little something to throw in there, right? Yep. Everyone wants to be cool. I mean, that's that's why we do this. I don't actually off-road, I just do it to be cool. Yeah, this is actually not, this, this, this dirt, we're gonna we're gonna Photoshop dirt in here. Yep. This isn't even real, what you're seeing, it's all in the room. All right, so we, we appreciate it, guys. If you have any comments, post it up in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.